Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Crafting and Crochet with KJ. Um, if you haven't been here before, welcome. If you're a returner, thank you so much. Today I'm going to share with you three unboxings of Diamond Art Club Halloween paintings. I'm, I, I can't wait. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to them, but they're absolutely adorable. So Diamond Art Club, I think, released four and I got three of the four. So we're gonna kind of go through these. Today, I'm gonna show you the canvases, show you the colors of the drills, but I'm not gonna pull all the drills out. And then um, I did pre kind of open everything. Um, I haven't looked, I think I looked at one of the canvases, but um, I haven't looked at all of the canvases, but I did wanna pre open everything just so that we didn't have all that crinkling. I know my sound is quite sensitive on here, so. Um, we're going to get started here with Halloween Haunted House. Halloween Haunted House is by the McNeil Studio, or McNeil Studio. Um, it is a square, 31 inches by 22, and or 79 by 56 centimeters. Um, the box, it's, it's a nice, wonderful, sturdy box. It gives you the kit contents on the back, uh, how it all works, um, and their guarantees are on here as well. So let me pull this out for you so we can take a look together. I have not looked at this canvas, I know. So in each kit, you get lots of goodies. Is that everything? That's everything right now. Okay. So in each kit, each diamond painting tool uh, kit comes complete. You don't need anything else um, but this kit to work this painting. So in each of these, um, you get some baggies, you get a diamond pen, you get the sharp tweezers, um, you get a couple of blocks, a wax, a boat. What is that? There's something dark in there. Oh, a squishy. That's right. The squishy. I don't think there's a multi-placer in here. So let me just pull out. Let's take a look. Baggies, boat. Oh, there is. Yay. A four-placer. That's my favorite. And then uh, here's the pen. So all of that comes in. So you don't need anything else other than this stuff to complete this kit. So let me move those back in. Lots of baggies. I don't remember them giving us that many before and ah, I love those four placers they're my favorite squishy two plates of two little heart shapes of wax all right so you get the toolkit get in there thank you you get a sticker so this is Halloween Halloween haunted house by the McNeil studio so some people use this they'll put it like here on the side of their box for storage so that they can uh, see what see quickly what their um, items are. Um, some people put it in a log book, you know, whatever you want to do with it. And then you get this bigger one. So this is what the canvas is going to look like. This is the original artwork. It's so cute. Um, it has, and here's your legend and your key. So you've got 42 colors in here. Anything under 150 is considered an AB color, so Aurora Borealis. So we have two. Um, and then you've got all these symbols. So what I do with this is I will cut this up and I will put it on my kits um, so that I have like container 27 for this symbol is DMC color 832. And that sits right on the, um, the package. Let me show you. So this is from a round kit previously, and these are my leftover black. This is from Love Eternal, um, all of my leftover black ones. Um, so it was number seven. Here's the symbol, and then here's the DMC color. So I don't have to try to write on anything. Um, it's easy for me to pick up when I'm going to that. Uh, here's a smaller version with some squares in there. So um, color number 21 is this symbol, and it's color 797 in the DMC. So a couple different... I found this a lot easier than trying to write on the containers with a Sharpie and then not having it rub off or, or whatever as you were working. So 
couple of different ways to do it. All right, let's take a look at the canvas though. I apologize for the crinkling. I did open the bag, so it'll just be a minute as the canvas slides up. All right. So inside the canvas, let's see which way are we going here. Oops, looks like we're gonna go this way. And I don't think it's gonna fit on this table. That's all right. Oh my gosh. Look how cute. Oh, look at the detail. Wow. Okay. So our drills are in here as well. And they will give us, um, sorry for my chair there. They'll, they'll let us know on the bag what uh, this goes to. And it gives us also a, sorry, my voice hurts today, a number. So if you see here, DAC Diamond Art Club 1266S AB Halloween Haunted House. And then that matches up here. So if they ever become separated some way, you can find them. Here are your directions with lots of tips and tricks in here. And then there's also a code, a discount code for your next purchase. I won't run through all of this with the next two kits. We'll just do this for this one. So here are the drills. No, that's really loud. So I will take, I will take you down and we'll take a look at the colors. So this is a round kit. I'm gonna move actually, move over here. Yay, and get a little bit more light. Okay, so it looks like we got a, quite a bit of blues for the sky. And there's some grays in there, some oranges. This is not a round kit, this is a square kit. I apologize. This is a square kit. <laughs> you got um, some dark browns, lots of dark browns, three bags of dark brown there. Um, orange, yellow, red, blue. I can see one of the ABs down there, uh, right here. You can kind of see that holographic shimmer. I love that blue. It's really exciting. It's so cute. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at this canvas. So we've got a beautiful, um, it's a lantern here. A little outhouse with a moon. We've got the fence. In the sky, there are bats. Then we slide along here and we have the entrance to the haunted house. Lots of pumpkins. So you've got your full moon up here and the symbol for one of the AB colors was two. And so that's going to be your white um, and that's going to glow. And then the other one for the AB symbols was a one, which is going to be a yellow AB. So that's going to pop out in the windows and in the jack-o'-lanterns and in the lights. The cobwebs here also have a lot of AB. So it's just going to make everything pop and shine and sparkle. But that canvas, this is really something. The clarity of it even here is just amazing. And you can really, really see all of the different details um, down here. I wonder what that is, because that looks like something. Let me look in the original artwork. I don't see anything other than the blue. There's trash and debris lying up against the fence. This one's neat. Maybe there's um, it's kind of a figure up in that window, a ghostly figure. Maybe it's just the curtains. Huge clarity in this. If you come down here, you're not going to have any trouble with um, differentiating between the symbols. Um, you're very clear throughout all of these. The colors there's a little bit differentiation in the color but the symbols are nice so the drill field is is really quite lovely oh my gosh i love this one i'm so excited i got this i don't know what i'm gonna do it look at the spiders oh. so cute they did a nice job um i oh look at that i just noticed this big bird let me get it out of the glare so we got the bats in the sky but like a raven 
And there's another one up here. This is awesome. I believe that Diamond Art Club hand charts. So somebody drew this, somebody pixelated this um, by hand and they did an amazing job. This one's gorgeous. I can't wait to get started. Again, this is Halloween Haunted House by the McNeil Studio and Diamond Art Club. I'll give you one more pass over with that. And we'll move on to the next. I'm glad I got this one. I really am. Whoa. Sorry, my camera's doing something funny up there. All right. One second and we'll move on to the next one. I'm going to roll this back up. So you're going to hear a little bit of a crinkle. Super soft canvas. It's like a, well, I don't even know what it is. It's just super soft, really flexible. You've got a scalloped ed edge here. Here's your legend. And then you've got the cellophane. So this is poured glue. Um, when you, when you um, diamond paint on, on Diamond Art Club's canvases, it almost feels like you're pushing into a little bit of a, a jelly, kind of a pillow. It's really nice. It's really nice to work with. So Halloween Haunted House by the McNeil Studio. Okay, this one is a round one. It's called Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble. This is my first Randall Spangler. Do I art my own? You're not crooked, are you? You might be crooked there, sorry. Okay, my first Randall Spangler. He does this whole thing with these little dragons and they're so adorable. And I've resisted until now. And now I'm on like wait lists to get the ones that were sold out because now I feel like I have to collect them all. Um, these, and this is the one that did it for me. They, they've been cute. And I was, I've, I've been, oh, that's so cute. But then I saw this one, I was like, oh, I have to have that. It's just so adorable. So, Randall Spangler might be my thing. Oh, we're going to go this way here. All right. Let's give this one a try. There they are. Here's our drills. Move those over in our instructions. Give me one second. I'm going to roll this the other way because with, with Diamond Art Club canvases, once you roll it the other way, it's like a self-flattening canvas. So give me just one second here. All right. Let's get back my light. I can just get this on here. Awesome. Move it up just a little bit. Perfect. This is Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble by, again, uh, Randall Spangler. This is a 22 inch by 25 inch or 56 by 64. It's, a, it's not huge. It's a really good size. You've got your two legends, just like always. And over here. And you've got your I'll put you back right over the middle though so you can soak in those dragons and then you have a thumb your thumbnail of the picture as well so in this one let me find the original artwork because it didn't slide out of the box here it comes okay here's my sticker and then here's my original artwork there have been some different renditions um on Facebook that some folks have done different things with the wording of marshmallows on here. I think I'm going to do it just like they charted it because I'm kind of a rule follower that way. There are 49 colors in this one. Remember, um, anything under 150 are AB drills. So we have two, 134 and 141. I imagine that 134 is going to be some shiny green uh, and we'll bring out the loveliness of those cute dragons. And so let's take a look here. Um, so in this one, let's see how high I can go here before my camera gives me fits. I was like, no, stop it. Okay. So we've got a cute little full moon. We've got some pumpkins back here. We've got the two dragons and it looks like a bit of a haunted house behind them. That bare tree We've got the marshmallows over here. 
and we've got them brewing hot chocolate over the cauldron. And then over here, sorry, we've got a bag of cocoa. It's so cute. And then these little dragons up here with their little hats on. They're adorable. And I saw this one and I was like sold and now I got to have all the others. And my husband's like, why? And I said, because I think I need to collect these. And he just nods. He's such a good guy. Um, but he, yeah, <laughs> he's like, okay. So I've got a couple more on the way of the ones that I could get a Randall Spangler. And I'll share them all with you because I think I'm going to be one of his biggest fans. Follow him on Instagram and whatnot. So you can see here the marshmallows, the um, hot chocolate and the cocoa over here as well. As far as the drills, there's nice colors in there. We got some, this one's around. Uh, we got a good gray, some oranges. Looks like lots of greens for that dragon. And then if you peek in there, right there. Okay, I'll open it and I'll cut out the crinkle. Hold on. I won't get them all out, but you can see the colors better than there. And then this is the... This is the green AB right here. So you can see that iridescent coating that it has on there. And that just kind of makes everything pop. And then number two is one. Sorry, sorry. I'm so paranoid about that now. Number two is 141. Let's see if I can pull that out of my hat. I don't think I'm gonna. But we got a lot of greens, blues, purples, bright oranges. Um, some reds, chocolates. There it is. That's the other AB right there. It's white. Pretty. Um, yeah, nice drill. They do a nice job. That's our drills. And then our drill field. If we look down here, number one is all that green. So you can see it highlighted um, up around his eyes and his snout and over here and his little hand and his tail. Follow my finger. Thank you. And his tail. Um, and then the ones, or excuse me, the twos that are going to be those white ABs are coming out of the smoke. So you see there. Um, the moon? No. None of the moon. Looks like there's some down here too in the fire. Mm -hmm. There's some twos down there. So in the smoke and in the fire. Oh, and in the marshmallows. And the marshmallows up here, you can see all those twos with the glare. Excellent. And then um, all of the writing over here is gonna be in ABs. So cute. See, that's the thing. They're all so lovely. And then you don't know which one to do next. And then oh, <laughs> it's a wonderful problem to have. I'm very blessed that I'm able to uh, pick these up as I choose. So this is Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble by Randall Spangler and Diamond Art Club. And I'm going to um, switch this one out and then show you number three. Number three is a square. It's called Scaredy Cats by Jeff Haney. There is a bit of a typo there. It says Scardy Cats. Maybe it's intentional. I don't know. It's a square kit. And I have opened this one because I couldn't wait to see this one. And I am going to show you the drills on this one too. Um, or I'm going to open the packet, but I'll cut out the crinkle. Um, but I do want to show you the come on out picture there you go oh please there okay I want to show you this rendering because okay I am a cat person I'm a cat and yarn so and I do have a recliner so a, a rocking recliner so I'm you know three-fourths of the way to retirement I'm ready to go so cute 46 colors two ABs, and then one of these dudes, this one, this E742, 
is a glow in the dark. So that's why I want to show you um, this canvas. Here's my little picture. I slide this out of its protective plastic. And here they come. And they're so adorable. I got a little bit of curling here, but if I just slide this back, I'm sorry for the knock there. I'm gonna try to just not have to get it all out. I'm gonna fold. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Boom, flat. Good deal. This one's a little bit wider than the other one, so not quite on campus. Not on campus. Not on camera. So we'll start over here. We've got the tree, kitty cat, all these leaves. And these leaves are so well defined with the jack-o'-lantern. It's a nice full moon up there. The other kitty. And I love this maple leaf down here. So cute, right? So in the drill field, I believe that the glowing is going to come from the mouth, the nose, and the eyes, because it's that dot there of the jack-o'-lantern. And then, not in the cat eye though. Nope, not in the cat eye. But the, there's also some ABs here in the eyes as well. I really thought they'd be in the cat eye. No, okay. I'm going to be a little bit pinks. I have two black cats. One has gold eyes and the other one has green eyes. Um, so anything with a, a cat on it or a black cat on it, I'm like, yeah, thanks. I'll take that. It's so cute. Okay. Stop moving you around. I'm going to open up the bag and show you the drills and I'll cut the crinkle. Okay, so crinkle done. Um, you can see all the different purples, um, the wine color here, lots of purples for that beautiful sky, some blacks, some blues, lots of oranges. I'm looking for the AB, here it is, okay. So E742 is the AB drill, that means, or excuse me, the glow in the dark drill. So that means if you were to turn out the lights on these, they would glow. So let's do an experiment. Hold please. Yeah, I can get them to glow. Um, I don't think I have enough light or enough dark. Uh, that's okay. I imagine this is going to be up in the ears, the pinks. Really pretty co colors and a lovely, lovely canvas. So, once again, this is Scaredy Cats or Scardy Cats. Um, by Jeff Haney. And it is absolutely adorable. So these are the three Halloween ones I picked up from this year. Apparently they do a couple exclusives for every year. So, and if you're interested in more Halloween videos, if you check out, um, some of my previous videos, I also showcased three Halloween from Treasure Studio Art. So you could check those out as well, if you'd like that's it for me today. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just let you look at this gorgeous pumpkin and that cute little cat. And I will say have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for spending just a little bit of time with me. I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. 
and um, I will chat with you next time about probably something yarn or diamond painted related. So have a fantastic day. Take care of each other. Be safe out there. And we'll see you again on the World Wide Web. Bye-bye, everyone.